everybody, this is Patricia. Welcome back to my channel. It's time to go over our samples. Can you believe it's been two weeks since we have been together doing samples? So let's get started. Um, one of them I didn't use, not surprised. I kept saying I was going to use it and I didn't. Let's go ahead and pull that one out. That was that Stila uh, HD Bronzing Beauty Balm. I never used that. Um, let's just put it back in our box and hope I use it <laughs> again because I didn't use it. I was bad. I did not use it. So what else for makeup do I have in here? Um, this one's interesting. Let me set this down. This is the Professional Pore Minimizing Makeup. You know about the uh, primer. This is an actual foundation. It says it's available in five shades. I have shade number three, which I would assume is medium. It was perfect for me. Um, it says it's an eight hour makeup. There we go. Um, this is what it looked like. You shake it up. It's a very liquidy foundation. There is still some in here. You screw the top off and that's what it looks like. And then the top is a sponge applicator. Now I am sure when you get the full size, the sponge applicator is big enough to do something with. This got on my nerves. It was so small. I ended up using my foundation brush and it worked just fine. Um, and this color is great. I was, at first I thought this thing's not going to work. It does. Um, I did use two coats. Two coats gave me a pretty decent coverage. I would say a pretty good medium coverage. Um, I was all prepared not to like this and came out thinking, you know, this stuff's not bad. Uh, would I purchase it? No, because I did notice the itching around my nose. If it wasn't for that, I would probably purchase this and it would be something I would wear uh, on a day when you're just going to go uh, run errands and you don't need to be all glamorous and you just want to look you want to look good but not all made up and this was great this would be perfect for that so I highly recommend this if you guys want to try it um, especially if you don't have issues like me with your nose itching um, this was great I have some left I'm gonna hang on to it and finish using it up because I did, I liked it. Uh, foundation, or makeup again. This is the Amazing Cosmetics Anti-Aging Face Primer. This primer is a lot like the Smashbox Primer. It has that silicone feel. It, let's see if I can get some more out of, of this. Well, yeah, I don't have much left if I have any. There we go. It's that um, silicone-y. You can't see that when I'm showing it to you. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about. If you've tried the Smashbox um, primer, it's that feels like silicone and it's clear. And it says it's a primary moisturizer all in one, formulated for dry, normal, and oily skin. I would say if you are oily or normal, it would be enough of a moisturizer for you, maybe. Uh, dry, no. This would not be enough moisturizer for you. I'm okay with these silicone filling primers, but um, yeah, it's just okay. I didn't find it amazing in any way. Uh, it was okay. Uh, I won't go out of my way and purchase that. Let's just let's just put it that way. Won't go out of my way to purchase it. Next, let's do skincare. Uh, this Caudalie uh, Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet. Nice. Like it. Still got a little to use up. Just a little. Probably just... This lasted quite a while. I've been using it pretty well. I liked it. So I will finish using... Oh, that. Where's my finish? Finish using up over here in that pile. This uh, Josie Marin... Um, Argon, see Argon Daily Moisturizer with SPF of 47. This is a nice moisturizer. It totally shocked me. I'm usually not a huge fan of Josie Marin products. I don't know why. 
Uh, but I like this. Uh, would I purchase it? Probably not because, you know me, I like firm firming in my moisturizer. That's the only difference. It does not smell like sunscreen. I will give it that. And it's got an SPF of 47, so that is a good thing. But I will use that up. And also this uh, Arbo Arborian no, Korean Skin Therapy uh, Fresh Gel. Assume a moisturizer. I used it like a moisturizer. I didn't look it up. Figure it was pretty much a moisturizer. There's still some in them. I'll use that up. It's okay. It's nothing I would run out and purchase. Hair. I got the L'Oreal Extraordinary Clay Rebalancing Conditioner. You know what? I like this. I didn't think I was going to like it. I was thinking, I'm not going to like this stuff. This was enough to do my entire hair. All my hair. Um, it's not my absolute favorite. But if I'm ever in a pinch and I want a good conditioner, but I just maybe don't have the cash for the more expensive ones, or I'm not anywhere I can get a more expensive one, and there's a Walmart and they've got L'Oreal, buy this one. This is good. Uh, it's a white, it's a white uh, lotion. Do I have it? Gosh, I can't squeeze any more out. A little bit. It's a white lotion. Smells really nice. It smells really nice. I love the scent. I don't know. With the word clay, I was expecting clay. You know what I mean? Uh, and I got uh, lotion, thick lotion, thin cream. It's in between the two. It smells really nice, though. And... Uh, it says, for oily roots and dry ends. I don't have oily roots, but um, I liked it. I liked it, so yay. Then this, um, how do you pronounce this? Phyto-specific uh, Thermo Perfect 8 sublime soothing care heat protecting serum i really like this this is really nice i have a lot left in this i'm very careful with it this whole bottom half is still full um uh, very nice it smells decent um yeah not not so yeah it smells decent it smells nice um i'm really smelling that conditioner though but I will continue using that until I use it up. Would I purchase this? Maybe. That's a maybe. Okay, that is everything in my sample. Oh, no. I got my fragrances. Clean. Suede Oud. Love it. Love it. Perfect for this time of year. I really liked it. And my Burberry in black. Awesome. This one I would purchase. Oh, well, both of these, actually, you know what? I would purchase. I liked both of these. I've got to use them up. But, yes. Good to go. Now, we're ready to pull new samples. I am going to put the Stila back in there. I will hopefully use it. Uh, so, that is makeup. Let's grab two more makeup samples. Let's see what we get. What is this? Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer. Okay. There we go. Bare Minerals Primer. One more. Maybelline Dream Velvet Gel Whipped Foundation and Classic Ivory. We will try that. That might be a little light on me. I'm a good medium. I'm not an ivory, but... Now, let's go to what's in here. Here. All I see are shampoos. Let me see. Are these two a set? They are. So, I'm just going to pull these two out and get them out of my bag. We are about out of hair care samples. We are about out. So, I'm just going to pull these two out. We have a Matrix Biolage Sugar Shine System. Shampoo and conditioner for normal 
hair. Normal doll hair. So yeah, we'll try those two as I drop that. Okay, now, skincare. That's my big bag. Full of skincare samples. What is this? Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. Good job. Next, what is this? A Sephora eye makeup remover. Okay. Ah, Derma E Firming DMAE Eye Lift. Good job. Those are some good samples. And let's pick a couple of perfumes. Da -da -da, da -da -da. What have I got? Uh, that one's almost empty. I'm just going to throw that away. It's old anyway. Clean. Surprise. Clean. This is Cell Santal. Don't know what that is, but I don't know how I got all those clean samples. And uh, that Kat Von D Saint. Oh, right. We got Saint. So we still have quite a few of those samples. Makeup samples are getting a little low. Um, so, and hair care is really getting low. So, that's it for uh, this week's samples. The Biolage. We're going to try those out. Um, Sephora Eye Makeup Remover. Origins Eye Gel. Origins, I mean, or, not Origins. Derma E Eye Lift. Uh, Bare Minerals Primer. Stila Bronzer. Uh, Maybelline Foundation and Kat Von D Saint and Clean what's the name of this again? Cell Santal S-E-L and then S-A-N-T-A-L yeah that's it so I hope you enjoyed these videos if you did please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already if you have any samples that you don't need, that you would like for me to try out, that maybe you know you don't like, but you wonder if I like them, or you just have an excess of samples, my P.O. box is listed down below, and my sample stash is starting to go down. So if you'd like to share samples, I would highly appreciate it. Thank you very much. So if you could just send them to me, I'll give you credit for it if you'd like. Also, uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And I will see you next Monday. Thanks for watching.